Hey Scruffy, how you doing? So yeah, it's a little early tonight. I have things I have to do, so I gotta give you an early dinner. So actually this is our, used to be our normal dinner time, and then you start coming later, so I'm actually surprised you're already here. Because I think after the sun started setting later, you started coming later. So I don't know, maybe we're in sync. Maybe you knew I had to do something tonight. So my online class, uh, they had a schedule change kind of last moment. So uh, they're doing it tonight, but that's our normal dinner time now. So I need to, need to do this uh, before or after, but this class is probably going to go long. So I figured I don't want to leave Scruffy waiting for hours when I can you know, feed him earlier. But I do need to get this going, so how about we get your food, okay? So you haven't stretched yet. Maybe you just got here. So you don't need to stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna put the food on the table. Mm, very good, you have this. Water down. Okay, so we'll change the water. So I'm gonna be faster tonight, so I can make sure I don't miss uh, class. Okay, so I'm gonna sit in the chair and get the blood on. And Scruffy's already ready to go. Okay, Scruffy. So try not to scratch me tonight. So yeah, I'm not not thrilled about you scratching me last night. And he's quiet tonight, so he's not meowing like the last two nights. So I don't know, maybe he's been agitated. So the weather was good today. Um, I think it was I think it was a tad warmer than yesterday, and the sun was definitely out the full day. So I decided to go for my bike ride, and I. Pushed myself uh, a little bit harder today, so I went up two of the three steepest hills, and I did uh, I think a total of four four hill climbs. So the second hill I did, which is I'm not sure if it's the steepest. There's certain parts of it are probably the steepest. Um, so I've only been up there twice. Um, so there's a there's two paths in. So one on uh, the east and one on the west. And uh, the very first time I went on one path and then I went up one path and came down the other. And then the second time I, I went the other direction. And I found that the going up the second path. It is a little easier overall. Uh, it's a little bit wider, and it's there's a little more switchbacks, so you're not climbing quite uh, quite as fast. Um, but yeah, both of these hills they're on exposed mountainsides, so I don't like doing it when the sun's out because it gets really hot. Um, so even though it's kind of cool today. Yeah, because yeah, they're exposed hillsides. Yeah, you could definitely feel the sun bearing down. Um, but yeah, the second hill it is kind of tough. Uh, so there was one part of the hill where it was yeah so steep I lost my balance and uh, basically I had to you know put my feet down on the ground and not to not fall. 
and then I had to jump off the bike and start pushing it up because it was just, yeah, a little too steep. <clears throat> um, and then uh, at the very top, the very, uh, I'm about to qualify the very top in a second, but uh, there's a lot of loose dirt and I slid on the dirt twice up there and uh, basically yeah, I lost balance you know, my tire kind of swung out from under me and yeah, basically fortunately I didn't fall but you know I had my feet hit the ground and, um, and basically yeah, after after the second time I lost my footing or my you know balance I started walking because <laughs> yeah it's pretty treacherous um, so yeah I don't have quite the right bike for that hill. So I need a modern bike. But, uh, so yeah, qualifying that hill. So it's actually uh, kind of the, it's kind of the top of one section, but it, they also consider it the beginning of another section. So. Um, so you can either keep going back down the other path, back down into the main park, or you can, um, take an alternate path that keeps going up the mountain. And so, um, I think it's like another thousand feet or something up to the top. Um, it's a, it's a pretty tough path from what I've read. Um, it's... Not as technical as the one uh, leading up to it, um, so probably don't have to worry you know, much about falling off the trail or sliding on dirt and stuff like that. But um, there are very, very steep parts, and it continues to be completely exposed. And so, um, yeah, there's no shade whatsoever on that path. Um, it's considered very challenging. And it's not exactly a pleasant path from what I hear either, but um, I've been, it's, it's, some, it's there, so I've been kind of wanting to do it. So I've been on the, the main roads that that path connects to, and those are actually really challenging too. Um, but I hate the main roads because of the cars, and I didn't learn that this path had been created until like last year. <clears throat> so ever since I found out about it, I've been kind of wanting to do it, but I felt like I need to get in better shape before I should tackle it. So, and then I think the weather needs to be nicer, and then I've been debating if I need to get a better bike, because my bike is really not well suited for this. But I'm in better shape now, and I'm getting closer to ideal shape so I'm probably still like three months from that <laughs> and unfortunately three months from now we're going to be in the, the heat of summer and it might be the worst time to go up that path so I don't know <clears throat> but yeah, so anyway, it's something I, I'd like to do. Let's say I've done it. Um, but yeah, not today. So then I just went back down the hill and back to the main park, and then I did some of my normal hill climbs. And, and yeah, my ride went longer today, so it's about an hour and 50 minutes, so I got a pretty good ride. So hopefully, uh, you know, I'll um, continue to lose weight at a good pace. And um, I'm probably getting stronger because, you know, it's... So I wasn't cursing as much climbing up the hills as I, I have in the past, so... Um, so at the steepest part of the hills, I start cursing sometimes, and 
And uh, today it increases much, so I think I'm improving. Okay, Scruffy, I think uh, we're ready for dinner, huh? So yeah, I gotta feed you so I can go in. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the plate here. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna brush you now. Bump the chair there. So let's see. Yeah, so I saw Scruffy was sleeping on the chair most of the day. So I don't think he had a very eventful day. So I really think he likes that new chair. So I think he thinks it's his bed now because he's on the chair so much. And I guess that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna flip the brush over. about done here. Okay, I think I'm done. So just you just need to finish eating quickly so I can go in and uh, attend my class. So if you've been following, uh, yeah, this is the options trading course I'm taking. So tonight we're doing a uh, I think they're supposed to be doing the Q&A uh, class today, so um, basically they're opening the, the night to take uh, questions from the students. And uh, I actually have a question I wanted to ask, so uh, I wanted to be there. Um, I, can, I can watch the recording, but then I can't uh, ask the question. So I want to make sure I'm on time, ask my question. And so, uh, yeah, I, uh, coincidentally, also, had, there's a live stream of uh, another thing that I wanted to, to attend tonight, which is actually going on right now, and uh, but, uh, that one, <clears throat> that one, actually, you're allowed to submit your questions in advance, so I submit my question, and I can catch the recording of that, so I can... Uh, do that later, probably tomorrow or something, since I got the class to go to, or to attend. Um, and I wanted to feed Scruffy, so I figured the class might go two hours, so I didn't want to be two hours late for dinner. But that'd be a little unnecessarily cruel. So I am thinking ahead to Eventually, when I need to start uh, traveling, we'll look for uh, potential places to move to. So, I'm not going to be here to feed Scruffy. So, one thing that's been on my mind is maybe I can buy an uh, automated uh, pet feeder. I think they're going to cost me about 100 bucks, unless I can find one used. So I think the expensive part is actually the uh, shipping, so I think even a used one probably won't save me any money. So I'm not enthusiastic about throwing down $100, but I feel kind of bad for Scruffy, so I might do it. Depends on how well he behaves. If he keeps scratching me, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so don't scratch me anymore. However, yeah, the, the pet feeder doesn't, it seems to only do dry kibble, which I'm fine with. He likes dry kibble, just as long as he doesn't throw up. 
Uh, the thing I'm worried about, though, is, uh, well, I'm not worried, but worry is too strong a word, but how am I going to get him water? Particularly with Dry Cat, who seems like he should be providing water, and I don't know if there's a way I can provide water for him. So I'll have to do some research on that, see if there's an automated uh, water dispenser or something like that. But, uh, yeah, if I can't figure anything out, you know, he's going to have to rough it. He's been a feral cat for all his life, so I think he can figure it out. But, but that's also why I'm also cautious now about making him completely dependent on me. So I know people are thinking you know, I should bring him in the house and stuff. So if I ignore all the facts that, you know, he scratches a lot and... He probably freak out and he doesn't seem to know how to behave in a lot of conditions and you know, we're over eight months in now and you know, he's I'm still I still have to wear a protective glove and you know heavy you know, jeans and a heavy sweatshirt to protect myself from him. Um, ignoring all of that and if it was something you know, a cat I felt that could be safely taken inside. I don't know if I could do that now just because if I do have to move I probably can't take him with me, especially since he's so feral. But, um, even that aside, I, I don't know if I can take him with me. So wherever I move to, I, I may need flexibility. I might be renting, so you know, places may not take pets. And then I may be move, move, moving very far away, so I don't even know if I can transport him. And, He's never, you know, I don't even give him a carrier to take him you know, to the vet at this point. <laughs> you know, taking him across country is just like, crazy. And not even cross country to take him, you know, over, overseas. <laughs> so, so anyway, yeah, I'm probably not going to try to convert him into a house cat because, uh, well, for a lot of reasons, but yeah, here's one more, just because I, I think uh, if I do have to leave, I think it would be exceptionally cruel to kind of get him used to domestic life only to throw him back on the street. So I think barn, barn cat is the compromise here. So he remains feral, but gets a meal once a day for me. And then you know, the rest of the day, he lives his life as he used, as he always has, but I make his life a little bit easier with you know, good meals. Though it has crossed my mind that if I do leave, if he makes enough progress where I've socialized him enough, maybe I can convince a local animal shelter to take him in and find him a permanent home as a Completely feral cat, I don't think that's going to happen. He's still pretty feral though, but he, I think he's making progress. So. If I can convince somebody, uh, you know, one of these rescue places to look at the videos, say, look, yeah, he's, his promise, he's making progress. I think you know, there's a nice cat inside there. Just you know, find the right person, right home. Somebody might be able to fully domesticate him. I think you're going to have to walk him in the cage for a few months. Um, I'm not willing to do that for the reasons I just specified. But, uh, maybe somebody else has his means. Maybe, yeah, yeah it might work. But, yeah, I think we're still a few months off from that, at least, or, you know, a few months from me from traveling, at least, so I think the lockdowns are going to continue, so, so I won't be able to travel until travel restrictions are completely lifted. Okay, he's gone in a hurry. Well, that actually suits me well tonight, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.